it's Amanda here from Faithfully Homemade, and today I want to show you a phonics activity I made for my five-year-old son that could be adapted for any kids that are just um, learning to read sentences and still kind of sounding out words. So this is a fun activity because I'm using a lot of short vowel words, and they have to find the rhymes. So it so it's kind of like finding rhymes in the context of a sentence. Um, so they're getting a lot of skills at once because they're practicing reading, obviously. They're practicing rhyming, um, and they're also practicing context. So let's just get right into it. What this activity comes with is these little cards here with sentences on them. And then it also comes with the matching um, rhyming cards. And basically what they're going to do is they're going to pick a card. And if you have a pocket chart, you can put it up on the pocket chart. I already have a bunch of them up here. And they're going to read the sentence. Now this activity has a little cat on each card and then each matching card has either a toy mouse or uh, cat food that they're going to give to the cat once they figure it out. So what I would do is, I'm gonna take these out. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna have them, you know, you're gonna put some, either put some sentences up in your pocket chart or um, I'm gonna show you some other ways, if you don't have a pocket chart, some other ways you could do this. But um, first, you're going to have them read the sentence. So, the big rat is fat. Then, you're going to give them the different cards. Um, I wouldn't give them all of the cards because it's gonna be hard for them to find it, but I give them a couple of choices. So here I've got four choices. And they're going to choose um, which one of these cards matches. So they're gonna look at the sentence and they're gonna see, okay, what words rhyme in this sentence? Basically, it's um, another way of saying it is a word family. So which two words are in the same word family? Well, we have rat and fat, they rhyme. So then they're gonna look at their cards and they're gonna find rat and fat and they're going to match it up with that sentence, okay? Um, a great thing about having it in a pocket chart is see how it's plastic here? They can actually underline with a dry erase marker. So um, I have a dry erase marker here, so they could actually underline rat and fat once they find it, and then they can put it in their, in, in their pocket chart. Because obviously since it's plastic, it can rub right off. So that's kind of the fun thing about having a pocket chart. Um, this one is just a little tabletop pocket chart that I think I got off of uh, either Oriental Trading or um, one of the learning websites. But anyway, um, so we just, it's just like you can fold down and you can fold it back up. So anyway, that's what they would do. So here's his pig has on a wig. They would find pig and wig rhyme. And then they're going to find the matching cat food and they're going to give it to that cat. <laughs> so um, the cat thing is just to make it a little bit more fun. Um, so they're either giving the cat a little toy mouse or they're giving it um, some cat food. And um, I really like this because they have to find the rhymes within the context of a sentence. So they have to be able to read a whole sentence. I tried to use words um, for emergent readers, kids that don't um, know a lot of special sounds yet and that are still sounding out. So all of the words in this sentence can all be sounded out. H, is, p, ig, as, a, n. They all can be sounded out. So most of the sentences, I use words that could all be sounded out. Um, they don't use a lot of um, special sounds. I don't think I have any like long vowels or anything like that. So. Um, okay, so let me show you another way you could do this. All right, this is with a whiteboard. So this is our little tabletop easel whiteboard. And what I did with this is I took a little magnetic clip, I put the sentence in there, and then, um, I, so I figured the child would read, Tim's pet is very wet. And then um, they would find the matching card. So I have another magnetic clip here. They would clip the matching card up there. And then um, they could use their magnetic letters to make the rhyming words. So it's just another way to practice the rhyming words. So here I have my set of magnetic letters and they would just use those on the whiteboard and they would make pet and they would make wet. And then I also thought, you know, you could even use your, your dry erase marker and have them come up with other words that would rhyme with pet and wet. So we've got set, met, let, and get. 
Um, so I thought that would be another fun way to do it, especially even if you didn't have magnetic letters, then you could just have them um, write them with, you know, with the uh, marker. So that's another way. And then finally, if you don't have a whiteboard, and you don't have a pocket chart, you could also, of course, just do it on a cookie tray. And um, you would just have them pick a, pick a sentence. Dad has a tan van. They would find tan. They would find van. They would find the matching card. Um, it's in here somewhere. And then, after they find the matching card, there we go, then you could either have them take their magnetic letters to make um, tan and van, or if you don't have, here we go, so they would make tan and van, but if you don't have magnetic letters, you can also use a cookie sheet as a dry erase marker. So they could write tan and van right on their cookie sheet, and then it will erase because I'm using an Expo marker. It'll erase. So even if you didn't have the magnetic letters, they could still write with their um, marker. So that is it. That is the activity I have for you. If you're interested in um, this activity, I'll leave a link below where you can download it. Um, and this activity will also be added to my um, kindergarten literacy curriculum. If you haven't checked that out, I'll leave a link below to my curriculum as well. And also this activity will be added to my kindergarten and first grade um, activity bundle that has all of my activities for this uh, age group. And so um, I'll leave a link for that below as well. Thanks again for watching, guys, and we'll see you next time. Bye.